What is happening? So, this video was really interesting. I'm editing right now and I don't know how to approach this video because first and foremost, this is um, probably the first time that I hunt with somebody that knows what they're doing really well and he has been hunting for a long, long time. So, there was a lot of things that I had to learn and figure out in the spot and it was it was amazing it was impressive to see by only looking of what these guys doing insane amount of information just started getting into my brain and it was it was impressive and this hunt is an entire day like we hunt from sun coming up to sun coming down we literally hunt all day <clears throat> we hunt two different spots I ran out of battery on my bank. I ran out of my batteries. I couldn't even do an outro because the amount of footage that I acquired through the entire day was just barbaric. And I think that one of the cool things about this hunt was we weren't there for the birds. We were there to just have fun and logically in the process trying to trying to get some birds, but it was a fun, fun, fun hunt, and we talk so much. That's something that is kind of like new to me because I'm always hunting by myself. In that insane amount of talk, I just gained so much information and so much more respect for what we're doing as waterfowlers. And being able to talk to somebody that is not withholding things that he knows and passing that information was just mind blowing. So I'm going to show you like the best that I can do with this video because there is so much things going on at the same time that if it was for me and I could leave all the footage raw, you literally will have a video that is like eight hours long, easy, but I can do that. So. I'm doing my best to to get to convey the what what happened through the day um, with heavy editing because I had to cut a lot. Like I, I'm gonna have to. Like there's no way that I can that I can get away. Every single word that that man said is worth having on this video, <clears throat> but I can have it all. And before I even show you guys the video and before I even do an outro because we don't have I don't have an outro I wanted to say thank you so very much Andy that was amazing thank you thank you so very much for the opportunity to let me hunt with you and meet some of your peers and being able to 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 have a great time and once again this is not a, a video where we harvesting limits this is not about that this was more of talking and and just getting to know each other and that was that was that made the hunt even better being able to meet somebody in 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 a marsh where you're talking and you're hunting and you're looking at birds and you, you you're trying to figure out where they're coming and shoot them and at the same time you are laughing every single inch of your body off because everything that is being said is hilarious. There is a lot of information also that Andy put out there, not only on the aspect of a waterfowler, but as a human being. And that, that is impressive. And some of that information I will not put on the video. Like I, so, some of the things that we're talking, I'm gonna put that in the video because it's personal information that belongs to Andy and um, I respect that. And that's the information that I was honored to have and I will keep it that way. But once again, thank you so very much, Andy. This was amazing. And and thank you so very much to everybody that that was kind enough to have a word with me that day and that we talked and I got to meet you guys. Um, it, 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 it's really cool. And, and I hope to see you guys still in the field. And, and hey, you never know, maybe maybe we we hunt together at some point or 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 we can share some more talk in the parking lot you know what i mean but let's get let's get into the video so you guys can see 
this this impressive day. This is this all raw footage is gonna be archived. One of the hunts that is really, 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 really dear to my core. So this footage is gonna is gonna is gonna be reviewed many times by me, and I'm gonna always remember this day. Let's go. What is going on, people? From the tube. Welcome back to another Pancho Things. In the last video I posted, I said that Mr. Andy picked up a spot for me, which he was amazing. Well, he was kind enough to invite me hunting today, so there is Mr. Andy. Hey, too. <laughs> yeah. We got the little popper too. Commodore is at home resting. So let's get started. Let's see. <laughs> what was it? Six, six, sixteen. I'm standing. I'm standing on the corner here. Oh, man. Oh. Right. <laughs> Is that too far, Pancho? Huh? Is that too far? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see it. I don't know if they're going to get any closer. <laughs> Whoa. They're supposed to stop and land in the water. That way we got a yeah. heads up. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was a cannon. No, no bird, no bird. Get over here. You don't want that bird anyways. Get a buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, turn them into sausage. <laughs> you see those two cinnamon right there? 
overhead. Yeah. I think that that was them trying to call. <laughs> okay. Don't shoot that gad ball, whatever you do. Stop That's the avian flu. <laughs> Got something. Remember <laughs> <coughs> the first death call I bought, the first mallard hen call I bought, probably about 15, 16 years ago. Yeah. That's it, man. I got it, and I'm just kazooing the hell out of this thing, you know? So then it's like, okay, I'll listen to the CD, you know, this is before YouTube and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me listen to the CD. Listening to the CD. Man, this thing's just broken. <laughs> yeah. I'm out with one of my buddies, and I said, hey, I got a question for you. Yeah, how are you doing on your duck calls? He says, man, I usually caught myself over in Kuwait, in Iraq, you know? And I was like, really? It's like, so he pulls out his duck call and he starts blowing it, right? And I was like, what kind of call are for? I gotta buy one of those. He goes, what call you got, Amy? So I got this call, you know, and I handed it to him. And he blows it. And it definitely didn't sound like that when I was blowing it. <laughs> and I said, hmm, I'm, a, I'm a guessing that it's not broke. <laughs> All right, call. No. He said, no, that's not all right, call. You can get by with that. And I was like, no, I won't. <laughs> what are you talking about? I blew it. He goes, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I sat there for about two hours with me, you know, making me feel like an idiot. That's how I felt. Finally, after about two hours, I got a quack out of it. It actually sounded like a quack. I was like, like a real this? quack. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy I ran and drove all the way home just quacking, you know, and I got home and I was showing my wife, I'm like, listen, honey, <laughs> And she was like, okay. <laughs> started driving around and I picked up that collar and I'd just be quacking and she'd be like, honey? And I'm like, hey, babe. And she was like, Ah. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just, this is just a me in the car, huh? Like, yeah. That is definitely just a you in the car. <coughs> That's, yeah. I, I still have to. I still have to to work some more on my on my calling. There you go. Yeah. You pass in front of you. <laughs> the light is turned right here, like they turned right in front of us. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get to hunt when lead was? No. No, I never left on the light. Today I'm shooting Bismuth 7. How you feel with that? These like, ones I bought. With the penetration, penetration in between bismuth and steel is different, isn't it? Um, some say it is. Um, I've, I've seen some people trying to, to to debunk it, you know, and saying, "Oh no, bismuth doesn't do it, and bismuth isn't that much better." And, uh, I bought these shells originally for for my wife because they they don't kick quite as hard as a three inch, you know. Yeah. Three inch number threes. So I bought her these just because you know they're nice and easy to shoot and they're really you know they're soft, you know, and it's yeah. You know, for the birds that I shoot, it kills them pretty good. Then the other, then the only other reason that I shoot business is 
for my 410 and my 28 gauge. Yeah. You know, and because um, I can shoot 11 sixteenths of an ounce in bismuth, or I can shoot three eighths of an ounce in steel. Yeah. You know? And there's a few more pellets in there for the pattern. And that seems to number sevens seem to, to kill pintail and gadwall and widgeon pretty good. That's a plus. Yeah. It's always a plus when the birds die in the decoys. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a lot better than it is. <laughs> <coughs> Whoa, you heard that? Yeah. Right here on the right. It's gonna dump. Huh? That's how it looked like. Right? Why didn't you shoot it? By the time that I bring up the shotgun, it was in front of you. <laughs> we got two on top, on the front. No bird, no bird. Pip. No bird. Nothing came from nowhere. Pip. Pip. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Dad. Dad in a little water movement, Dad. That's all I'm doing. Dad. <laughs> What you said? I said I love hunting the tulies, but then again, stuff like that happens, and I hate hunting the tulies. <laughs> <laughs> well, Commodore's probably happy to be home sleeping on the couch. Oh yeah, he's he's probably in the bed sleeping still. Saw the one in the water and I imagine that there was something else coming behind. The trail that leads straight to me, you know. And stop and Hey Pip, it almost hit you. Dead bird, here, pit. <laughs> She's chasing the feathers. She <laughs> almost hit in the head. Yeah. <laughs> Where did he got hit? He got hit deadly. <laughs> <laughs> All I saw was the shadow. Yeah, I think he got one there. Good looking Draco. Nice mohawk. Well, we're not skunked, Andy. Ah, thank goodness. <laughs> Somebody can shoot. <laughs> nice little mohawk. He's a little stud. Thank you, sir. 
Wow, yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> All right. Pretty bird. Yeah, it's pretty good looking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the dog is still looking for it. That's better. Thank you, Bert. All right, so we relocated a completely different spot. So I got Andy to the west of me, sitting with the dog. And I'm on this corner right here with some little decoys, some good decoys, some stuff. And, it's, and, uh, and um, a motion decoy. And uh, I'm probably gonna tuck myself in. Inside here, just a little bit more cover. There we go. Let's see. Let's see what is happening. I might even put my chip. Actually, I'm going back here. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's about noon now. Did you send it? You got him, I got him in the middle here. That's all he's left. Yeah, I'll see it. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna go by too much farther. When she picked it up, could you see the head on that thing? <laughs> so the head did come off. Right there. there. Yeah. She's on top of it. Huh? She's on top of it.
<laughs> you need to train with Commodore? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Ah, oh, that's a nice shot. Right in the dome. <laughs> Thank you, Bert. Do you have some coming your way on that side? Do you have something on that side? <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. So I ran out of bank. My bank is out of batteries. So I have even I had to put a battery on my GoPro. And it was off. I just shot another green wind. I literally shot two green winds and I haven't been able to be seen on the camera. One, two, three here. We have one in the levee and one in the car because the other one I shot it on the first spot that we went. So, five birds. You want me to finish it? <laughs> Where is it? You got the tulis? There you have it. <coughs> I end up with five birds. It was six, but one of the birds we thought he was dead, but turns out that he was playing possum and he jumped in the water and disappeared in front of our eyes. And same thing happened to Andy. He hit one as well and the bird went into the tulis that we were seeding, no way to be found. Um, very much alive, both of them, so... But yeah, that, 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 that was crazy to see, like... The bird at one point had the head completely laying down on a puddle of mud, and Andy walked around him, the dog walked around him, and the bird didn't even move. And the minute that there was a little bit of separation in between Andy, the dog, and the duck, he just... That was his chance, he took it. <clears throat> so we lost that one. So I ended up with five birds and I think Andy ended up three, with three or four birds. And once again, this is three or four birds through the day. Like this was an entire day process. I had never shot a pond in the morning and then refill another pond for the afternoon. I never done that. So it was kind of cool to see how that is done. And, and it, was, it was crazy. And as I mentioned, I wish I could put all these and just let it all roll with no cuts, no edits, but it would take hours upon hours for you guys to watch this. But I was fortunate enough to have a hunt with this man and 
learn an insane amount of things, like an insane amount of things. And some of those things I'm still processing until today. And it's been a few days. It's been a few days. Uh, I decided to give it a, a, a time for it to marinate before I started editing the video because I knew I had an insane amount of footage to go through. So I wanted to just let all that sink in, absorb as much as I could before I did the edit so I could edit the right way. Until today, I don't think that Andy, I think that probably Andy will figure this out when he watches the video. I don't think he knows how much information I absorbed from that hunt. Not only as a hunter, but as a human being. And it, it, it was an honor to be able to, to do that hunt for sure. This is a hunt that I would cherish for the rest of my life. And not only because I learned, but because I got the opportunity to hunt with somebody that I have seen for four years in the same spot. And it's just now that we are able to to talk and, and get to, to this. Uh, it, it, four years that led to to where we are on that hunt. And that to me is extremely valuable. So thank you so very much, Andy, for, for everything you did that day. You are a trooper, my friend, and I appreciate you so very much. Um, the, the little pup, man, <laughs> the level of energy on that dog is insane. Only with her running in the water, just just picture this only with that dog running back and forward in the water i have an entire full video i can do an entire full video of just her running and that happened the entire day she had the same level of energy through the entire day it was crazy to watch i was just like wow like it's impressive this dog doesn't get tired it was it was it was it was amazing so thank you so very much andy for everything you did that day that that was i could not have a better hunt than than what we did that day i i truly appreciate you my friend and um i hope we can repeat this sometime as far as the video well, there you have it i did the best that i can i had to cut and edit a lot because we're talking guys we're, we're talking for 10 hours just talking so I, I hope that the video translate the action in the the ambience of, of what was going on that day um, I did the best that I could in order to 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 do that otherwise we will have and this is gonna be probably a long video but it it, 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 it was just just epic to all of you, thank you so very much for watching, like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video, and I will see you in the next one. Pancho out.